the Premier League have rejected the Football Association's proposal to increase the homegrown player quota following Brexit. Officials from the FA want to increase the requirement of home-produced players in each 25-man squad from 8 to 12 and lower the number of foreign players from 17 to 13. They believe if no Brexit agreement is reached then the number of European players able to move to the UK would drop by two-thirds thanks to the likely new work permit requirements. The FA's proposed solution to Brexit has been rejected by Premier League clubs however, the Premier League who believe the EFL and SPFL are on the same page do not agree with the proposal and say there is no evidence to show it would improve the quality of the national teams. A spokesman for the top flight said in a statement, the Premier League has held a range of conversations with government and stakeholders regarding the impact on British football of the UK leaving the European Union. We currently operate rules that limit the number of non-homegrown players clubs can have in senior squads while also working with clubs to operate a world-leading player development system which delivers for England teams at every level. This was demonstrated by the many Premier League club academy and senior players that FA coaches moulded so well into U17 and U25 for World Cup winners and men's FIFA World Cup semi-finalists. The FA had proposed to limit the number of non-homegrown players in the Premier League. The Premier League believe there is no evidence a stronger quota would benefit England. There is no evidence that stronger quotas than exist now would have a positive impact on national teams. The spokesman added that they felt any increase in the homegrown quota would harm the standard of football across Britain. We approach this matter in the interests of British football as a whole and have held positive discussions with the EFL and the Scottish Professional Football League who both agree that Brexit should not be used to weaken playing squads in British football, nor to harm clubs' ability to sign international players they said. The three league bodies also recognise that the development pathway for young British players needs to be further enhanced and are committed to finding ways of achieving this across all professional clubs. Should the quality of player decline, the spokesman pointed out that the increased quota would be harmful to the game itself. Away from playing squads, it is important to recognise the global interest in the Premier League and in our clubs when they compete in the FA and Carabao Cup competitions, and the wider positive impact on the UK of having a successful Premier League they added. Our competition is watched in 189 countries. 700,000 visitors to the UK per season attend a match, clubs employ 12,000 full-time staff and Premier League football generates £3. £3 BN per season in taxes. We have a positive working relationship with the FA and will continue to have constructive discussions with them and other stakeholders.